<laughs> G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Michelle Brazier. <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> also, Jackson Bailey's here. Toot toot! Hello, toot toot, yes! Yes, but yes. <laughs> toot toot. Toot toot indeed. Like an old car. Mm. And also, Rob Braslin. Hello. Welcome Hello, everybody, man. welcome. Thank you. Toot toot to all of toot, you. Toot. Yes. A toot toot to us all. And a toot toot to us all. And a toot toot to you. Toot toot. Somebody had a toot toot tattoo in Edinburgh. They came to my show and they'd gotten a toot toot tattoo. What, does it mean? what is a toot toot Okay, tattoo? so toot toot to me, and I say it in my shows and I say it a lot. Yeah. Toot toot to me is the assumption, <laughs> You, it's like the way that you move through the world, you assume the best in people. Okay. Uh -huh. You're always ready for like, if they're awful, but just assume the best. Someone yeah. cuts you off in traffic, you just assume they're on their way to give birth. And you say, oh, toot toot. And if someone like, if someone cuts, or someone like okay. beats at you, like I just say, I say it out loud. Say I toot say toot toot. toot toot and I wave. That's so like, great. They're like honk, honk. I'm like, oh, hiya. And it just sort of resets them and it resets me. I get brain. why you would have a tattooed then. That's a nice, it's like a good reminder. Maybe. I don't you know, know what's toot toot. I don't know if it's just because I always say it or they just were like, you say this and I happen to have it on a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But I like to think, Okay. And to read. Hey, that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, toot toot. Hey, this week uh, we're recapping our highlights from the 2023 oh. Game Awards. Toot toot buses. But first, what do you think of this? Rock band Kiss wrapped up their latest farewell tour by declaring they'll all live on forever as digital avatars. Yeah. Uh, designed by Industrial Light and Magic, virtual versions of the group's younger selves were shown flying above the stage. Younger selves. Fire. Why, not, why, why not us now? Um, <laughs> They're not yeah. good. <laughs> um, at their final concert at Madison Square Garden last week. Um, this is, this is an, an interesting career move for them. I think I only it? allow that if uh, me at eight months old. I think That's Kiss what has had have. every kind of merchandise you can possibly think of. The fact they haven't got on this sooner is surprising. That is that true. true. That is a shock. It's like Kiss toasters, <laughs> Kiss tennis rackets, Kiss kids, Kiss Kiss kids. Kiss kids. Don't kiss kids. Don't no, kiss kids. Uh, like <laughs> bro, kiss branded oh, children. Like, no. <laughs> like you go to the adoption agency. Yes. <laughs> Can you hear them? Yeah. Kiss they're like kids? we have some of these Kiss kids and they have the full makeup. They get fed a little bit better because Kiss sponsored them. Yeah. yeah. Does the makeup wash off? Oh, like off? how you can get a like the U2 red phone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contributes yeah. to the World AIDS Fund. Oh. So it's like that. It's kiss. You can get a kid that's kiss branded and yeah. it contributes to kiss a star kiss. child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a performing arts. Yeah. School. I want the one with the star. Yeah, course. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so it's not the first time we've seen musicians, you know, performing virtually on stage. That's true. I think Abba's doing this at the moment. Um, yeah. Not them, I guess, but... My but, manager but, went. Yeah? My mm. manager in the UK, she went and she said, I don't like that they're, they're doing it like before. She said, I don't like that they're taking away from live performances and I just don't like the way it's going. And she went and she had the best time of her life. And she went, <laughs> she said, I'm going to go again. And you should come. I read an article saying they're making like $2 million a week with these Same. shows, these Whoa. ABBA shows. I'm making a similar That ABBA now. aren't, yeah. they're, they're not, just not required. Um, and they're not even dead, ABBA. Yeah. No, but it's just, it's they're just not, bit of, They're not like doing this though. It's all pre-recorded. They're not going, can I just get a little bit in the back there? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's just yeah. like, it's not, it's all just pre-recorded and you're sitting That's there. So funny. That's yeah. so weird. It's, yeah, it's all just like Why would you go? LED wall, like projection stuff. I mean, I mean, you know. But then also, it's, it's not like, I mean, like, it is weird to think that you go to a live performance so that you could theoretically touch them. You know what I mean? Because they're it. like know, physically like, there as part of the appeal. The whole yeah. thing. Yeah, it's like you should do some smaller Melbourne bands here. Like, yeah. the ones who aren't together anymore, do Tism. Like, you know. yeah. Yeah. I would go and see um, a corn holograph show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Though. Corn holograph. <laughs> holograph de John Davis. You just kept saying cornhole for a while. There, <laughs> cornhole. Mm. cornhole. I'd go. I'd yeah. go see cornhole. Yeah. yeah. There's something nice about, though, being, I guess, being able to preserve the band in their prime. You know, it's like if you go see. Paul McCartney now. It's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, good at you know, he's 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 doing his best, or Elton John or whatever. It's like it's great to go and see them. It's like, oh, you know, I got to see them before they stopped touring or whatever because they were too old. Um, but 
But really, like you're not getting the best of them, you know. You, but they're, are you getting the quite... best? Of them? You see Do... hologram, hologram. Well, you uh, potentially. Can't you just recreation... listen to a CD? Well, yeah, sure. Is it like is it a recreation of a live performance that they've previously done? Great I think question. it's I think it's a new thing because I think I think it's yeah I think it's a bit of like generative creating like it's all photos because it's like three it's not like a film oh, good thing. it's like three D like it's industrial light and magic have created if they did it with CG practical characters. effects that would be okay. Huh, what? If they did practical it with practical effects. effects. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Puppets? Like puppets. Kiss puppets on stage? I would kiss corn puppets. That's better. Corn That's... puppets. Jonathan Davis just like, oh, man, no way. Um, wait, I assume they're marionettes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's trying to grab his like weird booby. And then um, yeah, he comes out on a bicycle like when Kermit was first. And we're like, oh, we're seeing his leg. <laughs> comes, out like, oh comes out like Billy from the Saw movies. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <the little trick. laughs> that would be awesome. That would be creepy. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Pop feel bad for the impersonating, like the cover the cover bands. Like they're going to like miss out yeah. on now. Interesting. Would, oh, yeah, I have done a lot of that work. In my early mm. 20s, I did like, I was in a show called uh, California Dreaming. And mm. It was the music of the mamas and and let me tell you, I've seen the inside of casinos. Yeah. Crown, the other ones. Hell yeah. Spent you guys got any digital, digital <laughs> avatars Crown. for the cover band? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like, I, I don't even know like what the, what the, the, the script was like the Wikipedia page of the yeah. bands. And then we'd just sing the song. <laughs> and people would be like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> Were you getting two million a week for that, or was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, awesome. Two, two million. million. That's more than I would have guessed. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you? I look. I there's part of me that's because I really want to go to Las Rio. Vegas, Rio. <laughs> I want to go to Vegas when your baby's and and, yeah. and and see the Sphere thing, and see you two. Even though I'm not like I, I you know, I think you two have some good songs, but I'm not like Bono. I would not go see. See what Bono's up to. Oh, see what the Bono's Sphere. Up the Sphere. Mm. You're talking about Sphere. Yeah, the big thing is uh, it's like a mm. big LED projection y thing that looks like a pretty incredible venue. But you kind of go there. Well, the reason I want to go there and pay, I think it's like, I was talking to someone who went recently and it's like a thousand bucks a ticket or something. Mm, okay. But it's like, it's an experience that you just cannot get anywhere else in the world. Like, it's yeah. such, it's like the height of technological advancement. What is it? It's you two. Yeah, they have a residency U2, there, yes. Yeah. But they're in a sphere it's all that about, makes it look very beautiful. Yeah, it's all about this venue that is like designed to be, because, you know, you, if you go to see U2 or if you go see, I don't know, something like Taylor Swift or these big acts, yeah. our opportunity to see them is in a stadium. It's like Marvel Stadium and or something. And it sounds bad. And it sounds yeah. bad. And it's a bit of a shitty experience, really, to see bands in an arena like that. Someone's Whereas, talking about Crocs and I just went, <laughs> whoa! Rock Hi, you Crocs. Chat, yeah. Wow. I just want. I just couldn't let the opportunity. That's awesome. Pass. I wish you just keep speaking. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, but this. So the, the the sphere venue. It's all about like. Oh, it's the the the, the Seems best like a really experience. Good stretch. I just got to say, you look, you. that looks like a really good stretch. <laughs> I'm jealous. of Oh, this they're going to get a shot, a close up foot direction the crop. Over here. Yeah. Are they clean on the bottom? Which way? That way. That You're way. doing a twisting motion. Break your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's working. It's it's all working. It's working. It's, it's, Keep talking, Evan. It's normal. <laughs> Keep going. Um, so I think it would be incredible to go see, see. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go see you two at at, at at Marvel Stadium. Yeah. But I would go see them at this sphere because. Just because you know you're going to get the, a, an incredible audio visual experience, you just can't get anywhere else. That makes and sense. I think I maybe would go see something like this. it's kind of a novelty. I think I don't think there's a band that I like enough. That I would go see in hologram form. Yeah, I feel like it surely would have to be cheap. But the tickets, oh, like if they're hologram, if they're getting two million dollars a week, or yeah, whatever, right. It's not cheap. You know yeah, where I want to go? I want to go to that. You know that um, that room they've made where they've completely removed all sound, and if you're in it for yes, too long, you go an insane. Anechoic chamber. Yes, that's what I'd like. That's to the go. opposite of yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah. exact. I'd like to be able to sit that. in there and just hear my organs like working away down there. I think that would right. be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I know, I don't think I would like that. I think that'd be cool. Made $50 million a week. <laughs> yeah. 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 So <laughs> <laughs> they're cleaning up the organ room, yeah. man. <laughs> the organ room. Yeah, that's, that's what they call it. Yeah. Sounds just one like ticket cool. to the organ room, please. Um, yeah. would, you, would you go see would, would you go see fake band? I think I would prefer to see real band. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'd go see a cover nice. band before it, I'd go see the oh, digital yeah, band. Yeah, absolutely. Nice yeah. About, um, about knowing that you haven't inconvenienced the artist. 
I, Except when financially. I, well, yeah. <laughs> it's all it gets me by. But I'm at a concert. You financially <laughs> inconvenienced every single other artist oh, and yeah. a bunch of sound techniers. It's and also so funny to imagine you at any concert being like, I'm and... so sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Gene sorry, Simmons. Come all this way. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Swift doesn't so want to come to Australia. I didn't mean to put you out. I don't want to come here. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the plane she comes on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It'd be Must so tough. It. It'd be so tough. I actually recently became friends with someone who I cannot actually name and I shouldn't have started talking about it, but very someone very famous, someone who um, does private jet. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. And was telling me about it. Yeah? And it sounded really, um, it's actually very uh, turbulent. <laughs> on a private jet? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like small because planes. It's so little? I guess. Don't yeah, they well. give them like, you know, an injection so they have a little nap in there and stuff? And just, it's very I pleasant. Assume that yeah. The most famous people are just being controlled just by sedation. injection. Yeah, yeah. Turn it on and off. Yeah, just <laughs> go to sleep. And that is the goal for me. Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's all I've Injected ever awake, injected yeah. asleep. Yeah. One time I, I was like at the end of a very big tour and about to start another tour and a TV show, and my management um, organized a, an IV drip. Yeah, right. Oh, really? Just, I don't even like know. Like nutrients? Just vitamins See, and shit? That yeah. is wow. That's awesome. You've made it. You've done it. Was that good? Yeah. Like, you got it, the it, injections. Yeah. That's that so is, cool. You know, that's the and action. ever since yeah. I've been uh, coming <laughs> spider web. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really good. It's the only that's known cool. cure for a hangover. That's what <laughs> nurses and stuff do. They get yeah. there with their hangover and they go get an IV up. Yeah. I wonder I watched, what's uh, the same. They do it in billions. If you ever watch that show. Uh, no, is that one of the... Is that the Dwayne The Rock Johnson... Paul Giamatti, uh, yeah. Sorry, man. Uh, no, that, it's okay. Oh, it's fine. I'm sorry uh, you came all this way. <laughs> I'm here for a chat about billions. No one's on board. Billions, Would you hologram yourself? Me? Yeah. So after you die, you can still do this show. <laughs> uh, I think that's fun grim to that. think about. Some yeah. point of you. You know, still doing the podcast or the the video series or whatever. Yeah, I think I feel like uh, generative AI could. Replicate my personality. Could do, could do gamey gamey. I think game. it could do me justice. <laughs> um, wow, that's awesome, man. That's I... a great. That's a great joke, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder right. if it could. Yeah, I wonder if it could do me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like generative AI of a Michelle Brazier live show would be like. It's 1999, I'm walking down the street, and my friend looks at me and says, ha ha, you'll n never get that far. And then <laughs> at the end of the show, I'd be like, it's, it's 2022, I'm walking down the street, my friend looks at me and says, ha ha, blackout, song. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty close. Yeah, I'd, I'd see an impersonator. It's the same effect, you know. <laughs> Time, jumps, yeah. mm -hmm. facts, lot fast, talk fast, wear Crocs. Easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hair. That's what you type in and then it happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. Anytime any, anybody tries to use the like generative AI to replicate an episode of uh, Plummy the Death Star, the podcast I do, because there's two people named Joel, it just can never understand oh. that. Oh. It's just like, it's just Jackson and Joel. Yeah. Never understands this two Joel. That's how we beat AI. We all have the same exactly. name. Exactly. Mm. That's so Pick a name, know, everyone. It's ridiculous. Mm. If wow. we were all named Joel, then imagine how confused it would get. You just can't handle it. You can't handle it, dude. Yeah. It'll Is get, Meg it. Stolter just AI American Michelle Brazier? <laughs> I love it. Meg Stolter. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, Hey. I love her. What's up? What? We're gonna. Are we're, you mad at me? No. Oh. No, 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 it's fine. I was sensing a little bit of anger. No, 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 no. No, that's just how I am. <laughs> I'm misunderstood, though. No, no, no. no how no. come your shit's pink? Because I don't know, dude. Just lucky. Um, well, this is a... George, just lucky, I guess. Um, How come your shit's pink? I, uh, <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the honest answer is we ran out of paper. Oh, oh I see. So. I, was, I opened this, I thought, wow, the next one's pink. Yeah. No. And then I thought, not for me. Not for you. Not for me. Lots to be done in this life. People are going to be annoyed at this. I'm talking too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Talking is what this show's all about. Not for not for me. Um, hey, we should move on and we should talk about the, the Game Awards. That's what we're really here to talk okay. about this week. Um, they, uh, Wait they one second. Because we just spoke. Yeah. And you just said yes. that you have a glass of milk as a human adult. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just have a glass of milk as a little treat for myself. Not even as a treat. As normal hydration. <laughs> you can't get hydrated from milk. No, you can get hydrated. Yes, you can. Like, what are you talking Milk's about? Yeah, it's have all you, a liquid. Have you had a cup of water? Yeah, but if I, 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 I'm thirsty. Or it's hot. What do you mean if I'm... Oh, I've had water, but if I'm thirsty, I'll have I'm milk. just giving you the scenario. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, it's about? It's a hot day. 
come into my house. I don't know where I was. Come into my house. Go to the fridge. I fr have a big cup of milk. Yeah, I have a big cup of milk. I do Wait, this when I, am I You do this too? I drink, I'm, I'm very happy to have you're, milk as a drink. When, do you, when in your oh, mind do you stop off, having milk? I'm with you, yeah. When's the cut off? When's the milk cut off? That's the mo like, it just feels very like British. It feels very like. British? Yeah, it feels like a weird British. <laughs> feels like American though to me. Thing to do. Or well. yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel Australian. Do you not like milk? I don't drink milk. Okay. But that, uh, for two reasons. Okay. I don't drink milk because I like cows. I don't like the way that they get treated. That's fair. Secondly, I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm a what? grown up. Why is milk for babies? But literally, well, okay. milk is made okay. Okay. for babies. Some milk's for babies. That's what milk Some is milk for. for babies. Humans are the only things that have milk as adults. That's why it's no, just have a little soy, like a or, or So if like I had a, if I had a glass of soy milk, would that be okay? No, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's weird. You, why is that weird? That's so I crazy. I have soy in my coffee. But I'll... Why can't I have a glass of soy milk? Wait, so you're a soy in the coffee, but a milk as a treat? I like the taste of soy in a coffee. I like the taste of soy in a coffee. Me too. It's, it's, it's wonderful. And I like the taste of milk in a glass. I like the taste of milk in a glass. <laughs> I did just think Or swigging hilarious. milk's good. Do you do milk? I, I don't drink glasses of milk, no. Okay. Why not? What stops you? Um, age. Age is a big factor. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Job. Having job. <laughs> yeah. Growing up. Drinking milk's got unemployed vibes. <laughs> it does. I, I got, I got, yeah, I learnt shapes and then I got... <laughs> <laughs> Over it. I used to, I used to have a glass of Milo every single day. After okay, school. that's oh, great. I mean that but that is milk. Milo. That's milk. Well, you know, part uh, of the part of the taste, taste of Milo. Like Milo. But part of the taste of Milo is the taste of milk. Plain old yeah. milk though is is plain old milk in a glass. But yeah. then Milo but is traditionally made with milk. So you got to an know. ice cold glass of milk on a hot day. Are you kidding? On a hot day, <laughs> you're hot, on a hot day. you're hot and you're sweating, you and you <laughs> you have one you have one milk, please, sir. <laughs> yeah. Not like a you like sweat. a cool glass of water with some lemon. You have a cool glass of milk. What's the difference? How often do you shit? <laughs> what? What's Haven't the you got good you guys? It's all cold liquid. Do you sweat no. cheese? What's happening? Yeah, yeah it's like I just good. don't. I Feel like you have a good health <laughs> to me, and I can't move past it. I haven't stopped thinking about it since you said. And I know we're here to talk about the game. No, no, no. Fine. Sure, no we'll get to them. Lactose dependent. <laughs> <laughs> I would never leave the kitchen with a glass of milk. Why not? We're oh, you wouldn't leave it. That's because you're embarrassed. I've drunk no. a glass of milk on my porch, on my front <laughs> stand. I see. I if I've I, taken a glass of milk out, outside of my house. I like. Wait, keep milk. How, I, I, I how far? I where do you keep your milk? How far have you taken? I have two. There's two strings I want to pull. Okay. Where are you, where are you putting the milk? The milk's in the fridge. Yeah. Get the milk out of the fridge. All, up, all one go. Wait, what? Can you do that? <laughs> Wait, what? Do the uh, noise again. Do the what? noise again. Michelle, we've found, uh, we found uh, some. We found uh, a uh, system here between these two. Uh, this guy. This guy has to go out of state to drink down milk. Down <laughs> this guy yeah. has to do it right uh, out of the carton. Guap. Guap. You just guap. You're, you're guapping the milk not, down. Not out of the carton. Bob. You know what? You nailed the sound of drinking milk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is what it sounds like. I'm um, experienced. Wait, but so you're saying you're doing it all at the fridge? You bring yeah. the glass to the fridge, open the fridge, pour the well, milk. Well, no, I might drink go it, to the close bench the to pour it. You okay. know, I'm not an animal. <laughs> I only have two hands. <laughs> Pretty close to animal act like behavior. You need uh, two hands to unscrew the milk. I yeah, have an additional true. question. Yes. With milkshakes, mm -hmm. always ice. Okay, so in my, until very recently, milkshake, chocolate, mm -hmm. and milk, and shake. Yeah. I, thick shake, chocolate, milk, ice cream. Yep. Also shake. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do you agree, or do you also put ice cream in a milkshake? Um, because I found out that a bunch, the bunch, the people that I were with, crucified me as if I was drinking milk from a fridge as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> for not putting ice cream in a milkshake. I think you. I mean, for flavour. Shake, that's what I said. That's yeah. what I said. Oh, yeah. It depends on the amount. It's, it's, they were it's saying consistency. To me, it's if consistency. it's thick, yeah. Then it's a thick shake. If it ain't right. thick, then it's a milkshake. When I was you put malt in a, isn't there like a malt thing? In well, the I don't know, but I, yeah, I was told that a milkshake always has ice cream and then just like a thick shake is like a different thing. I don't think it has to. Okay, great. When I was a kid, but then is a big end. Came back like a chocolate big M instead of chocolate milk. Is that a milkshake? That's what I thought. Well, if you, if you shake it. I don't see I no, do I don't shake think it. It's a chocolate before milk. Open. Yeah, it's then like it's a, a kind of a milkshake. I, 
I'm going to throw a curveball out there. Lime milkshakes. Great choice. I've never Delivered. had a lime milkshake. Lime milkshake. Lime milkshake. Green. Oh. A lime, you know, do you do lime milkshake. Citrus. Citrus and milk. I don't I, eat dairy. It's good. You can get it's it from a... Milk. From no, it's not cafe. citrus. It's like just sweet. It's like a lime and, syrup. Yeah, it's like dishwashing liquid. Mm. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Bubbles good. up real good. My dad more women on the show. <laughs> when I was a kid, my dad would put... He would, he, this is how he'd make a milkshake for me. He'd get... So you got like the jug of milk. And it's got like that much milk left in it. Wait, what? Jug? <laughs> Why is it in a jug? You know, like a jug of milk. What, do you have cows? Well, are you getting fresh milk? No, like a jug. What do you mean a jug? Do you it's mean a jug. Like a cotton or like a... like a? What do you call what a you plastic like thing of milk? Jug, a cotton? cotton That's not a cotton. Or a no, bottle. No, no, no. Cotton's, cotton's a... A bottle. Cotton's a, a bottle of milk. A cotton is cardboard. Yeah. A bottle is a bottle. Yes. And a, a jug... A bottle then. It's like right, a yeah, big a this. This is a big jug. This is a tiny jug. Yeah. This for either jug. Well, then a bottle. Okay. Of milk. With okay. the milk, you got that much milk left. He'd crack an egg in there. Jackson, this is important. Hang on, what? Words are important. Yeah, that's true. Words are important. <laughs> crack an egg in a thing of milk. He'd crack an egg in the thing of milk. <gasps> then he put in a little bit of ice cream, some vanilla essence well, that's maybe. Just, that's like a, and then he just closed the lid and just shake the shit out of it. And that would be like a milkshake when I was a kid. Wow. Yeah, wow. And now the, egg the eggs, for? it's because egg I didn't for? like eggs. Because I, I think I'm allergic. So he was like, well, this is how you can have eggs. What, what do you need crazy. eggs? Hang on, if you're allergic to eggs, you still Well, I'm not eggs. allergic to eggs. Okay. <laughs> but you, your dad's logic was if you're allergic, as long as I do this, it's fine. Well, then I can have the eggs. <laughs> and that was how I got eggs as a kid. And that's how I. And I think it also helps with the froth. Yeah. The egg yeah. whites, probably. Yeah, for would. sure. It's like yeah. gelato, yeah. but wet. Yeah. Um, oh. Do you want to talk about the Game Awards? <laughs> yes. I do want to talk about the Game Awards. <laughs> All right. Um, but sadly, we've run out of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, let's, let's uh, we'll get through it quickly, right? There wasn't yeah. not much happened. Uh, let's kick off with a uh, newly announced game from the developers of Dead Cells called Windblown. Oh, okay. I thought this looked really cool. Yeah. I really liked Dead Cells. I thought Dead Cells was very it's a, it's like a like a, re a retro style pixel art kind of um, okay. side scrolly yeah. hack and slashy sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Very the art style was very very good, but also played really. Uh, the the just very responsive in the gameplay. Um, it was a um, as they say a uh, Metroid a Metroid uh, Metroid Bane is it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> a roguelike yeah, um, yeah. sort of a situation. Um, the trailer started with this uh, sort of uh, cartoony sort of okay, vibe, okay. but then they get into some gameplay. And um, what kind of a game? I don't know who these sort of furry characters are. Is yeah. This, um, uh, but but I mean it looks. Whoa. But it looks just like I love how like. I love how uh, the oh, movement is yeah. just, it oh, looks yeah. so it looks sharp. Very fluid and nice. It yeah. looks satisfying. And yeah. they did like that. They, they, that that was isometric? part of. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Is that isometric? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's part of what oh, no, was so changed, good about though. Dead Cells. Yeah, they're mixing it up. Whoa. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, is, is it the same thing? They're doing like a roguelite thing as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the what the structure of the game is. You see unless, a lot of games these days, which is kind of nice, where there's like a big emphasis on co-op and playing with your friends. I feel like there's a real trend. Every game, every farming sim or whatever that they announce, they're always like, oh, play with your buddies. I think that's good. Games are for everyone. It's a rogue, a rogue light. Out. What is rogue light? Oh, I don't know, dude. Some things are rogue. Rogue live. Rogue, rogue live. live. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> What the? <laughs> um, it says, uh, you innocent souls have lived peacefully in the Ark, a floating village orbiting around the gigantic and deadly vortex. However, don't let that calm existence fool you. Your cozy little island is about to get devoured. Oh. Was it was warriors, the Leapers, have met their end fighting dreadful uh, emissaries of the vortex. They are going to save your kind or turn into cannon fodder trying. Anyway. Okay, well, it looks cool. neat. This is only on PC. Uh, yeah, it seems like it is. Huh. There's there's some of these because these are like early announcements and a lot of them don't even have like release dates or yeah, anything yeah. like I mean a bunch of these are targeting like twenty twenty five as like release dates or they just don't say anything. Mm. It's ah. safer these days just to not say anything. Yeah, yeah, They'll true. build up build up yeah. don't too many delayed. promises. So, yeah. so many got delayed like this year, got, they just kept getting pushed back. Um but uh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of games that will, will they'll launch on like a platform and then you know down the I track they're like, oh, this, it's on Switch or whatever. Yeah, it'll probably you know something like this might launch on PC, but I imagine um, it'd be popular enough that they'd port it over to PS5 oh, and sure. Xbox. Looks and cool. Switch. Okay. Yeah, I'm on board. I think I think this is uh, just based on this guy's the just trying to do a business. job. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy was just with some <laughs> sore. Yeah, what, what's his story? 
Um, it's got the vibes this game of a game where everyone's gonna be like, it fucking rocks, you gotta play it, and I will just never touch it. I don't, I'm not know in that I think it looks bad, it just, I don't know, some games everyone else is gonna play, but I won't, you know? Yeah, I'm like that, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet, and I, I feel like probably I should, considering it won game People of love the year. it. I play every game. You play every That's game? That's awesome. I've that must take a lot of time. <laughs> no. No? I'm playing really? games right now. Whoa, what game? Game Those... of Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You're clocking it. You're you're doing so well. <laughs> I'm still trying. I'm still trying to finish stick cricket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Stick cricket was fun. Yeah. Hey, another game that uh, got announced was Thrasher. Did you, get, did you see the trailer for Thrasher? I did it. Oh, is it by the people who made Thumper? That's right. That Thumper is awesome. It's like a, a spiritual success. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Gameplay wise, ex like it's hard to tell is from it the like trailer. Th Thumper is one of those games that makes you feel like you're going insane. So yeah, it's very like um, it's a, a rhythmic sort oh, of. Oh yeah. It's like it feels like it's rebooting your brain when you play Thump. Yeah, oh, it feels really? very yeah. like psychedelic. This, oh, looks this looks crazy. This is like one of those. Just like doesn't look like a game. Yeah, know? I don't. Need, I, I'm trying to work out what what is going is on. Is it yeah, like, like what? Snake on like <laughs> multiple planes? Feels like, like that. That's crazy. Very colorful. Oh man. But I just don't really have that's a amazing. sense of kind of what the gameplay, what the. Did you play Thumper at all? Yeah, I I liked Thumper it. It was awesome, man. It's all about like. <clears throat> Getting a, it's like a rhythm yeah, game. It's a rhythm game, yeah. I think it's described yeah. as a rhythm horror game, which is a cool. Yeah, because it's quite like full on. Like, yeah, just very, very intense. Um, but it's one of those games that you sit down because it's like quite hard. Mm. You'll play it for like an hour, and then when you put your switch down and you get off your computer, you mm. feel like you're gonna throw up. Like it's <laughs> like oh. it consumes you. That trailer was great. I think that's if you get to a high enough level of Scientology, they show you. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> You're in. They show you that trailer. <laughs> Thumper mm -hmm. Trasher. Yeah. They're, two, they're doing words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so... The third game will be another doing That's word, I bet. So, so, okay, so here it's described as a mind-melting cosmic racer and essential audio-visual experience. Use fast-paced gestural controls to evolve your space eel from worm to <laughs> mega beast. <laughs> In a breakneck race for survival that begins at the dawn I'm playing of time. Right Minority now. report. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in the game. Uh, I'm Tom Cruise. Look at my eel. I'm doing um, an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds insane. Yeah, and that I sounds crazy. You're really keen to give it a go. Lose Yourself oh, in the Thumping soundtrack created by uh, designer Brian Gibson, basis for the band Lightning Bolt. Whoa. Okay. I dated a guy, a bass player in high school, and I bought a t-shirt from Supre that said, bass players do it with rhythm, and my mum was like, furious. That's me. awesome. I was like, eh. she was like, Whoa. what are you fucking doing? Anyway, this looks like a fun one to check out. I'm yeah, this looks for cool. Any, any uh, haptic spatial it. sensory experience. I want to thrash. Um, definitely looks a bit different to anything else that I've played. Yeah. It looks cool, yeah. Um, one of the really big right. games that was announced this year, they had uh, Matthew McConaughey That's true. come on stage. All right. V, Matthew. Whoa. All right. did the, the guy thing. who's all right. in the car. He went, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. He did the thing. And then he's like, the, he did, actually, he tried to joke and it didn't really, I think it yeah. really landed. Oh, really? I don't know. He's like, he's like uh, I was going to come out and do do the thing that I'm known for saying. All right, all right, oh, all right. But then they said, I shouldn't do that. I should come out and go pew, pew, pew. <laughs> And I was going to come out and I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me, they said, no, 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 don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, we'll see how that, how that, how that ends. Oh my <laughs> That's awful. Did, did they, is that, <laughs> what are you doing, right. Matthew? Is my name is Matthew McConaughey. 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 All right. Um, but he came out to to announce a game called Exodus. <laughs> yeah. Which is um, it's. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Um, it's and he's in it, of course. Which, oh yeah. Uh, that that, that they do that now. That gives yeah. Him, that gives him a reason to exist. It'd be weird if he wasn't in it. <laughs> well, yeah. well, they do that too it sometimes. Can, I, I mean, yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, Chalamet. Chalamet. He came out and was Gonzo. Gonzo wasn't in a game, and he was here. That's true. Gonzo was yeah. He's a um, busy man, Gonzo. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot in his plate, that guy. Um, I, uh, okay. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think this looks, uh, looks, looks is, So many cool. games look like this. Is yeah. Matthew McConaughey the, he's a voice of a game? Or yeah, he's, he like, voices one of the characters in it. He's My player. friend voices Mercy in a game that's big. Who's Mercy? In Overwatch? Yeah. Overwatch. That's awesome. Whoa. What? Yeah. That's cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Is she Australian? No, she's American. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That rocks. Hmm. Her name's Lucy. Um, does anyone know? I'm not sure what archetype archetype have done. The developer. I'm not sure what they've done prior. They're a new developer. New dev. Oh, okay. Um, 
Effect. May not be oh, with Mass okay. Effect. Well, th that feels okay. it feels like a similar vibe, right? Um, and the original Baldwin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I was also trying to work out because because Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. McConaughey. McConaughey. McConaughey game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> suggested there's a bit of like time stuff going on because you're in space and time passes differently f for you. For, oh, yeah, for you, for kind of like um, Interstellar. Oh, um, look at yeah, yeah. Oh, fact, when he did the movie in that movie. Yeah. yeah now he does um, games. Time dilation. As travelers on interstellar missions, days for you are decades back at home. The sacrifices you make to protect your loved ones create unpredictable consequences that change your world, reshaping the future. Uh, returning home, you confront the consequences of your choices. Oh, In Exodus, oh that's kind of cool. Those choices manifest at a massive level, compounding over generations. So does that mean I can go? To, I can in this game go to space and come home, and my wife's left me? Is it that kind of situation? Yeah, I think it's like I mean, you come home and your wife left you, and married your best friend, and had a kid, and then that yeah. kid. Oh. That can happen without. So what did they die? name the kid? That's Joff. 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 Dude, yeah, they after my Joff. worst enemy, Joff. Yeah, she's a sweet girl, Joff, but she just went off the rails. She was hung out the wrong dude. crowd and got into... All that can happen without going to space. They could have named, you know, could've could've named it anything, but then more, I think, fucking Joff. Yeah, I think it's more like, oh, you go to space, your kid's a kid, and then you come home and now she's a nan. And it's like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, I was yeah. killing zombies in this planet, and now look at mm. this. Now Sounds this. fun. Matthew McConaughey. Now this. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey freaking game. But I mean, you know, it's a space shootery sort of action sort of situation with a bit of time stuff. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll never play it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's, I'm not touching this. And I... Yeah. I should be clear, I never play games. <laughs> I don't have any... What was the last game you played? It was Friendship, I think. Was yeah. The friendship. game of Friendship. Yeah, that's right. Friendship. Yeah, yeah. That's also a gestural it's game. It's minority. <laughs> um, friends, yeah. Anyway, early days. I doubt we'll see any of this yeah. until like 2025. Robot looks kind of cool. Looks like a. I don't robot. think they've actually set a release date for it yet, but uh, it's, uh, we'll see what how it all pans out. Um, another uh, uh, interesting one that was announced was one from House House, an Australian developer who did Untitled Goose Game. Mm. Oh. That is a game I will play. That game rocks. That's... One day. When yeah. I have time, but I really want to play it. It's um, the most you, adorable game ever. Do you oh, have yeah. a Switch? No, Evan, I, <laughs> I'm I so bad at games. I'm so bad at games. I think Tim might have a Switch or yeah. a Game Boy. Yeah. He's got something in the home. Okay. He, he's got a big play. Remember when you came over, you bought big PlayStation? Yeah. He got one. Okay. We got big. He big got big PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. And I think he has a, a, a maybe a switch. Mm -hmm. But I is that what you do to so use it? bad at games. This is how I play. Yeah, I'm having trouble. <laughs> it's like how you hold the worst yeah. way to hold an ear of corn. Yeah, you know, there's like some people who are like, but I don't play games. Yeah. I'm like, I would like to play games, <laughs> but I'm so. You just gotta fix your grip. Yeah, at um, game, I just can't. If you're doing this, I think you're not on the control right. <laughs> starting, yeah, yeah, I'm just starting with a with the wrong. I don't know. I just I can't. I just can't do it. Can't figure it out. That's a okay. game. I like to watch them sometimes. Mm -hmm. Goose game. Goose game. Well, well so so the, so the developers of Goose game. They've got a new game called Big Walk. I'm so excited. This game looks so. Okay, awesome. that's a game I that I play every morning. I want to play yeah. this game yeah. so badly. We go for a big walk. When this trailer, with our dogs. this trailer played and it had like the sound of like magpies and, yeah. this and it's just like oh, that really? immediate like oh my Finally, god magpies yeah. represented in video <laughs> yes. games. It just felt so. Oh um, wow! It just really stood out on this, this massive. Where are these developers? Bullshit. Like, where are they based? Do we oh, know? Are they Melbourne? I don't know. Oh wow! I, to them. I just look so cute and stupid, but in a great way. Yeah. You know? They're just bopping. It looks um, like a game where you could just be dumb with your friends and have little adventures, and that's awesome. They just go for a walk. Yeah, you just yeah. go for. It looks like you just go for a walk with your friends in a really big Australian vibes environment. That sounds really lovely. It's so nice. Look at that little, you put your hands up. That's so yeah. I like how it looks. Yeah, Big walk. Um, Sweet by a magpie. Yeah. And I, I love, love clearly you. when you talk, your nose goes in and out too. <laughs> it's like oh. bleh, 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 and that's how you can tell someone's talking. Oh wow, oh. like in um, Croatia where the men sing to the gods. Hmm? Yeah. You guys know that big, there's a big structure where the men sing to the gods. It's I, beautiful. I, I don't, that sounds awesome. Mm, it's really, the acoustic Oh, this is adorable. Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! It's so cute. You're sliding down a fucking hill. You're celebrating. You're doing We're like the ESP puzzles. It's another one that I'm like, what? What do you actually do in the game? It's but I think it's yeah. I don't know. It says uh, so set out beautiful. with your friends through a wide open world full of challenges, puzzles, and discoveries. You'll need to work together to find your way around. Stay in contact using an assortment of tools and toys, and figure out new ways to communicate when you suddenly find yourself speechless. That's really 
like it. Ah, uh, the shadow puppets at the end there. I saw that. Yeah. I like it. Mm. Sounds like it will be delightful. I uh, yeah, I'm so keen. Um, for this this uh, that one we still have to wait a, uh, more than a year for that. It's a 2025 one. Nah. Um, but I'm sure there'll be more stuff that'll come out. Yeah. Who makes those games? Who? House House. House House. House House. The developer. Yeah. Could someone put me in touch with House House? You want to work with House House? Give them a buzz. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I like Are they Melbourne? I, I was I'm not sure. sure. If they're Melbourne. Um, house House. If they're Melbourne. But, yeah. But they they yeah they they just do beautiful beautiful work. It's such good stuff. So nice. And okay. it's great that like Goose Game was just exploded. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Huge. Goose Game was massive. Hugely successful and. Mm. Um, so it's cool to see that they've got, got another thing on the go. The next one that piqued my interest was the new Hellblade, uh, Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. Oh yeah. Which uh, I think we, we already knew was coming and they'd already shown like they'd done a reveal and they'd done the, you know, the, some, some gameplay stuff but we got a new gameplay trailer. And it looks suitable. Look, I, I played a bit of the first one. I didn't finish it. I really should go back and finish it because it was really, really great. That's what I've heard everyone say about it. I know like yeah. three people who have exactly, they're like, oh, nearly finished it. I got to go back. It's quite intense. I don't know why though. that, like, maybe is, that's what it is. It is really full this on. Is, yeah. This is Tasmania. This yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's Hobart. Yeah. It's wow. like Viking Iceland in Hobart. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's just one of these games that is just so incredibly beautiful, yeah. And, but also intense. Huge focus on um, incredible like motion capture performances. Yeah, um, what the? Her face looks so real. Yeah, true. Yeah, the last game did the same sort of thing, showing yeah. the, what's possible with like in-game footage, not just like a cut scene or something. This is mm. what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, wow, cool. it's really beautiful. Look at that lighting. Wow. And pretty. great sound work as well. Mm. Just really, really... Be in a cave. That's awesome. Be in a cave. Love caves. I love fire. to be in a cave fire in a game, good. dude. Fight with cavemen right now. That's exactly the same conversation people be having in, you know, 1 million BC. Fire? <laughs> yeah. Fire's awesome. Fire's awesome. Great. <laughs> love cave. Love Caves fire. great. Having a great time. Cave's great because, like, no, like, no saber tooth, which I like. Yeah, no. I love that. Yeah. Do you, that do you guys it. like milk? How good's Milk's milk? awesome, actually. <laughs> I've been thinking about milking stuff other than people. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Get a train. Milking one of those Save big guys? <laughs> I'm going to see what things give milk and then I'll report back to you. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm, I'm keen to check it out, but I feel like I have to play the first one first uh, and then... <laughs> That is fair. Uh, and then come to this one, which is a, a bit of a barrier. Yeah. But I'll um, I'll try. So, so it's playing with like the first one. Was it biking related at all? We got maybe not. I don't know. Mm. Everyone's gone mad for Vikings. Have I, I never, Vikings, Vikings never appealed to me. Me neither. If what ancient people are you most excited by? Egypt is pretty cool. Egypt's pretty, yeah, Egypt's alright. Yeah. Get mummies and stuff. That's yeah, sick. the mummification's mummies, pretty mummies cool. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Very very cool. Pyramids. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be one of the guys building the pyramids. That looked like a tough job. I would. Yeah? You You'd be that? up for building yeah. What would you be doing? I'll be one of the guys laying down the, like, uh, I'll just, I'll be sort of like an ideas guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a design. Point just like, Point yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just there for when they're like, we're thinking the pyramid. I'm like, that's a great idea. That's so you know? good. Yeah, you'd be a hype guy. Yeah, hype. that's You're awesome. Right. Drinking your milk, leaning on like a bit of pyramid. Just <laughs> like, like, that's it, boys. It's like 40 degree heat. Up we go, <laughs> boys. Pyramid was the right idea. I should say. You guys are geniuses. Yeah. The reason I don't venture far from the fridge with milk is because once it gets warm, <laughs> yeah. then, then I, I, how, then I find How quickly gross. does your milk get warm? Well, I just, if, if, I'm, if I'm leaving the kitchen with a drink, yeah. it's because, because I'm going to nurse it a bit, you know? You know, I'll do that with like a Coke. I'll grab a Coke from the fridge and be like, all right, now I'll so you don't mind the, if the Coke's watch the like TV and I'll sip on a Coke. I don't do that with a milk. Yeah. A milk is not like a sit and sip and nurse. Milk is like, I'm, I'm, it's going straight down right now. I will get a glass of milk from the kitchen no. and then I will take it outside the front of my house right. and drink it on the lawn. Over state lines, you'll as take as it as anywhere you need to take it. Like on a nice day. <laughs> as long as you're not take taking too long. Take a milk on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of those things Checking that feels it illegal. But yeah. is it? You could get a mug, you could have a coffee and walk down the street with it, your own mug. Yeah. I do that. That's awesome. Yeah. You yeah. can take your mug to Safeway. Any Who's cup is a keep cup. Jackson, did you say earlier you had a friend uh, who mixed 
Coke and milk? Yeah, yeah, it's really tasty. Coke, Coke and, milk. and milk. What kind of a ratio? That sounds disgusting. You, uh, Sorry, like... this is how this started, and we really should have come back <laughs> Sorry, I should have... to the source. Is there any milk in the studio? This is what happened. I'll make a, I'll make yeah. a kill. Okay. If you got milk, I'll make a kill. All we have is like an oat milk latte. Uh, that, that, I think, can. would be disgusting. That would... <laughs> <laughs> no, it might be fine. I'd drink I would whatever, try it but... if you get the oat milk if latte you, yeah, we'll and do the it. Coke. I'll try it. We'll do no, it. I won't. We'll be here for so long. No, we should, we should probably crack on. We're talking about games. All right, we'll crack on. So the Coke and milk is a good thing to make. Mix it, give it a try. Don't touch, don't do that. Try explore the well, possibilities of being alive. Coke, Coke and body. peanuts, I've heard is a good one. Put peanuts in your Coke. Yes, I've heard that's good too. I yeah. dip crisps, like chips, in my Coke. No, you can't, you you can't for me. You, you can't make and fun yeah, of these guys for just drinking milk. Yep. Yeah. It's like, cause it's salty and, I, and then it's sweet. sweet. It's salty and that's sweet. That's why popcorn is great with Coke with, for the cinema yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um, I know it's not good. Oh, it's happening. I We're doing it. it. Oh, We're doing no. it. Get, oh, that's just milk. Is that just, that's just like, milk. That's just yes. HC milk. Coke oh, and milk. Straight up milk. Okay, well, I, I, I'm not going to have that. You can have that. That's for you. What? Thank you. I, I, what, what, what? Is it like half and half the situation or is it like... I don't remember. Okay. How much are you going to You're just going to guess the ratio. I'm going to go till it looks like it's the right color. Which one is like the right color? Why are you using Oh my god. Jackson? Yeah. This is the day you become a man. Yeah. <laughs> no more of this baby milk stuff. It's oh. good. Have a this is not good. I need something to stir it with. Well, I'll no, like you this. don't. It looks yeah. bad. No, it's tasty. You don't know. You've not tried it. Oh, we got a good get a view of this. This is your wild and precious live. I I Oh yeah. Uh, okay, yep, look the straw. It just sort of tastes like a spider. Right, oh. okay. You took a big dog. spiders. I've got spiders. It's already. nice. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Please hold. We need to take the uh, sip one more time. Just okay. Oh, it's <laughs> You got yes, sip. No, not, no, stop, no. Not now. Wait one second. What? Look, <laughs> we're on the sip, Jackson. Stop <laughs> drinking. <laughs> The Coke milk. <laughs> We're so worried about your health. <laughs> it's delicious. Can I smell it? Yeah, absolutely. Is this? Is it? It just smells like a spider. It just is this like spider? A spider? I, that I think it's a spider. I think it, yeah. A spider. You know what a spider is? It's a, like a soft drink with a ice cream in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a float. Oh yeah, root beer float. Yeah. Is that what it? I think Floaty. so. Floaty. Do you know what? This doesn't smell that bad. It's delicious. This does smell. Do it like yourself. No, I, I don't drink milk. Oh, fair oh, enough. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So I'm off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Um, all right, you can have that back now. Oh, it's, it's sips for everyone. Um, well, we should we should get back to. It. So wait, do we get the sip? Do we get the sip? Do we do we need to? Oh, we got. Okay, okay thank we got God. Got no, I don't think we got the sip. I think oh, we one need more a time. gulp. One more. One more. Sip I'll finish it off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, wonderful. And now I have a little milk. <laughs> and now you have a little milk. <laughs> Go for seconds, that's great. Shout out to Cow Milk, everyone. Yeah. Ooh, um, so, Hellblade, this is one of the few uh, Xbox exclusives or Microsoft exclusives that's coming next year. Oh, yeah. They did a big buying spree of studios, but so far they haven't been sort of coming out with a lot of yeah. exclusive hits. Um, there's been a lot of exclusives on PlayStation, obviously, and, and but, but they've been um, sharing those over to PC. So this one's going to come to... The, the previous game came to PC, oh, yeah. Xbox, PlayStation, mm. um, but this this sequel will only be on PC. And only Xbox. on PC. Yeah, mm. I don't think it's ever going to come to PlayStation. Huh. Um, so that's Microsoft being like just buying developers and locking them down. Yeah, yeah. they got they snatched up Bethesda, didn't they? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think yeah. So. They own yeah. a lot of they own a lot of studios now. Mm. Um, so I wonder how much they're going to be doing this, like just locking it down to their own platform. Mm. Which, Which surely me. is why you buy them, right? That's why you buy. Yeah, so that developers. you can have them exclusively for, for your. Yeah, own, it's to give you, know, you that competitive your own goods. edge. But it's also a bit shit if you're, if you're on a PlayStation oh, yeah. and and, and Microsoft has just bought out all these developers. Um, so uh, and the, the the next one that caught my eye was this game Kimuri. I can't believe we're just walking around like going through the games as if you didn't just have that milk. <laughs> it's because it was that normal. It was that normal a scenario, everyone else has forgotten about it. You've got blood coming out of your nose. <laughs> 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 You've OD'd on coke milk. It's so nice to have a little milk. Did you get a sweet little milk with me? It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I'm going to call the police. Yeah, call the cops. Kamuri, um, so they ran a trailer for this and I was just like, this looks really cool. I don't really know what the game itself is. Okay. But it's it just summoned looks... to a realm where the yeah, unpredictable meets the extraordinary. 
Huh? Yeah. Oh, you're pl are you playing as yokai? That's cool. Yokai, they like. Oh wait, no. You're becoming a yokai hunter. What's a yo what's yokai? Yokai is like a like a Japanese spirit. Oh. It comes in like many different forms. Um, that's right. There's yokai yokai watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very like one of the biggest. Yeah, like mm. Pokemon kind of. Yeah, pretty, yeah, very similar. And I think Pokemon are quite based on, or like some of them at any rate, are based on the yokai. That's right. It just looks sick. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the yokai have such awesome designs. There's one that's like an umbrella. Yeah. I don't know why that was one I picked. <laughs> you went <laughs> cool, to try it <laughs> Wow, awesome cool. Designs. There's that one that moons you, and in its asshole is an eyeball. So that's cool, too. man. Cool. Right. You know why these are the only when, uh, yeah, when How's he, your uh, milk? <laughs> your milk's yeah. gone to your head. <laughs> Still, yeah. It's None a of lot these of, I will say it's a lot of liquid I've had. Yeah. You know, I must that's admit that. Good. I yeah. must admit that. That's yeah. good to have all that milk. Yeah. Did uh, have the milk? Did anybody Everybody play? Um, have a milk. Have you a drink yourself to a good solid <laughs> milking. <laughs> Oh, when I get home, milk I will. Your you can have a milk when you get home. I have a milk when I get home. That's wonderful. Milk you yourself. Love the milk. Milk um, for your country. But you know, in the kitchen. Yeah, like, yeah. You keep it. I reckon your teeth are real strong. Oh, my bones, dude. Yes. You could hit me with a car, <laughs> and I'd be fine. Should we? I've got a car. What well, okay, can we do? Well, yeah. Well, while we're doing experiments. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, did anyone play Ori in the uh, the Wilderness? Yes, yeah, that game was awesome. That, that was game. really cool. So the the developers are Moon Studios, and they've got a new game called No Rest for the Wicked, which which in this like the promo image looks like a completely different vibe. Oh, okay. um, but so I think it's actually not, adorable. it's, it's uh, it is uh, um, maybe not that far away in terms of the, the style. The year is eight, 841, King Harold is dead. Oh, King Harold? Fuck. Harold, a King Harold. Harold and Madge. Um, <laughs> as the word of his death echoes throughout Rest the kingdom, peace. the crown passes to his arrogant yet untested son, Magnus. Harold. Magnus. Mag yep. Mag Magnus. Even Madge. worse. How to Madge. The pestilence. Ah. Oh. Uh, an unholy plague, unholy not seen for a thousand years, <laughs> has returned. <laughs> it sweeps across the uh, land, corrupting everything and everyone it touches. Is it what kind of a game is it? Pirates of the Caribbean. It's an action RPG. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's like a Pirates of the Caribbean. Whoa, I like this worm yeah. bear. It's your classic Pirates of the Caribbean. Classic potsy. All right. Uh, yeah, it's an action RPG. <laughs> it looks, it looks, potsy. it looks fun. I, I really liked Ori and the Will of the Wisps and the uh, what was the sequel? Ori, Ori and the, and the Blind, Blind Forest. Forest yeah. I think. Yeah. Creators of um, the Ori. There you go. So it just looks beautiful, you know. Oh, oh yeah, that's Look pretty. That. Oh yeah, good vibes. Oh. Whoa, God. that okay, is Pirates of the Caribbean. So nice. Yeah, it is. Your... You can go outside. That is uh, true. Yeah, but outside doesn't I look can't as nice do this. as this. It often does. Really? That's yeah. 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 You go to the right guy in Richmond the other yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get up into the high country. It looks like that. It's very <laughs> literally, pretty. you go to like Dites Falls at seven a.m. Mm. and yeah. the sun dances like off the. Oh, I'm very passionate oh, about yeah. the nature in Melbourne. And it's not funny. It's just true. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, kidding agree. Yeah, we'll go down to the. Uh, where are those guys at in Melbourne? Darwin Parklands. That guy. I walk past that guy every morning, and he says, "Good morning, girls," and we say, "Good morning, Trent." Trent walking around. He says, "Oh, you got the." Coffees, we say yes, we've got the coffees, Trent. <laughs> Any cups that keep cup, he says, I know, darling, I know. And like, he calls me darling, but I don't mind because he's mm. from a different time. He's from, yeah, what is it, 800? Yeah. Eight and from 41. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I try to use a bit of nuance, try to understand he's coming from That's a good place, so, but his yeah. intention is actually important. We have, <laughs> yep. Thank you, Trent, if you're watching. <laughs> he's watching. Um, he's always watching. I think he's watching. <laughs> anyway, this, uh, I don't, we don't have a release window for this one, but it's, uh, it's just. There's just so much, so many great looking games these days. Uh, that's true. Out. Frankly, too like many. If really part honest. of the Game Awards is to build hype. Yes, like, that's right. Yeah. Um, Maybe it'll suck. There's a lot of well, but, but yeah, are there also, any awards? Or is oh, there's actually plenty like... of awards, but I didn't really pay attention. And they, hey, <laughs> let me tell you, the Game Awards didn't care about those awards either because every person that got on stage to accept their award was like wrapped up in yeah, 30 seconds. That's true. Then Timothy Chalamet comes on and they're like, brother, just waffle away. <laughs> do we don't do. give a fuck about the guys who made these games. Yeah, Kim yeah. Cha, okay. do what you got. Freaking do, Sam right? Lake, who made Alan yeah. Wake 2, comes up and gives like a heartfelt, like very emotional speech. Yeah. And in the background, there's like a big sign that's like wrap it up oh, and he'd only spoken for like 30 seconds don't they know this is the guy that looks it's, like max Payne? it's no good they don't care about I games. Hate they, don't that. Care. they don't care about developers they care yeah, about it was one making more kind of weird about this is that they didn't talk at all about it was a you know a tough year for developers yeah. lots of um lots of companies Slashing their workforces. Absolutely. Um, Gonzo didn't say shit about no. it. Dude. Gonzo was <laughs> on just, stage. Uh, he didn't use his platform. Is this a big AI problem? Is that? 
Uh, I mean, that surely is a, a contributor. I mean, I think the general sort of economy of the world, mm. yeah. um, it's a, a lot, I mean, a lot of companies, it's not just game developers, but a lot of companies are slashing staff. Oh, yeah. Um, and I mean, part of it was just that, you know, COVID went just like everything was just so huge during COVID, huge boom and, and, and you know, like gaming was, was just went, exploded during COVID. Goes in and out um, like a tide, the, 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 the yeah. like they, like the, the indie scene builds up and you get bored out, like they have, mm. like, they don't really have an end game mm. of their, their industry and then yeah. they, you know, how many game studios do you hear about? It's like, oh, it's the guys from there yeah, and this yeah, and that yeah. thing. And that builds hype up again because you love the games that they made from that studio and that studio. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Because, it, yeah, I mean, I just read recently that they're apparently going to be closing down like Free Radical who yeah. mm. built um, the Time Splitters games. I'm like, oh man, yeah. I'm just so, you know, there were all these rumors that maybe they're going to make another Time Splitters and mm. they, but that just keeps happening. There's just so many developers that either get just swallowed up by, by the companies um, or they just get shut down, and and yeah, so you end up with all these like talented game developers that you know end up like banding together and making new indie mm. companies, or, or just I don't know, leaving the industry maybe. But mm. it's uh, anyway, they just sort of uh, tiptoe all around there, yeah, and it's just like over. sell, sell, sell. Yeah. New it, games. Was, it was mostly trailers, really. Yeah, and not even trailers for necessarily new games. They had a trailer for like Genshin Impact and shit. Yeah, but that's one it, of the massive that's mobile games, it, right? Yeah. It look you look at it and you're like man that's an expensive award ceremony. Yeah, I can't um, imagine playing a game on my phone. No, so, oh, I yeah. could <laughs> never imagine it's... sitting down on my telephone <laughs> and playing a little game. I also <laughs> don't do that. I, I play twenty forty eight. I play word games. Uh, oh, we yeah. did a game the other, the other day called uh, Gubbins, which is a great little uh, is good. An, an Australian word game. It's a I, cute little uh, yeah. almost like Scrabble like, with yeah. a twist. I just don't play. The starters, I hate puzzles. Oh, Secondly, okay. I hate enough. my phone. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I'm trying to get it to TikTok. I keep forgetting I have it. <laughs> why do you tr why are you try? Because I, I'm meant, I've got a social media strategy. It's a whole oh, right. thing. Yeah. There's a guy. Yeah. I hate social media. I have media. to have a meeting with the guy. He's a lovely guy. But I so what do you do to now? pass the time? You're waiting for a coffee or something like that? What do you I talk to strangers a lot. Oh. That's awesome. Right. That's I talk cool. to a lot of strangers. That's nice. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it's kind it. kind of good, actually. Yeah, it's very, very helpful. Yeah. Um, and it's good, uh, good, good stories because I mm, talk to people. That's yes, you don't get stories from playing. Mm -mm. Yeah, or maybe you sometimes do. you just can leave your phone in the other room. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not touching it for today. The mobile game. I'm gonna read a book. It's still huge. Like it's still remember BlizzCon oh, a few years ago. Like remember like, when they the guys who make Diablo were like, we've got a new game coming out. It's a new Diablo yeah. game coming out. Everyone's like in the audience like, yeah. yeah. And they go, it's a mobile game. And Never. Cricket. And then yeah. the, one of the devs is on stage going, what? You guys don't have mobile phones? <laughs> and everyone's like, this is gonna flop. This is gonna flop. It made more money yeah. than oh. all the Diablo games combined. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did it have microtransactions? Yeah. I think it did. Of course. What's a microtransaction? So it's like in a game where they're like, you want to be better at the game. Pay real world. Yeah, buy this crystal for four well, real dollars. Basically, yeah. the way these get because they're massively. So it's like kids. It's really predatory because yeah. what it does is oh, it says. And they're like gambling. Yeah. Like they have yeah, that kind of reward system, right? Okay, sure. I have read about this. You hear about people colors. who spend like forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. So on, sadly, like, that is probably like the end game and, of a developer. You're like, yeah. oh, our company made a billion dollars by <laughs> becoming because, a game it's by making pokies. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Anyway, look at all these great games. <laughs> yeah. You know who's back? Sega, baby. Uh, Sega's back. Crazy freaking taxi. Um, and with something other than <laughs> Sonic for a change. That yes. is nice to see. I've never been a massive fan of Sonic. I'll play the game sometimes and be like, oh, What do you yeah. think of him as a guy? Mm. I think he's smug. Yeah, I agree. I think he, I think he's a bit of a dickhead. Yeah. I think he's probably a bit of a sodge. He's sort of yeah. too cool. I think quietly. you're probably right. I think quietly. I think behind <laughs> closed doors, I'm going to be like, oh, boys. We yeah. can talk now. Do you know what he does in that little bowl? <laughs> sucks himself sucks off. Him <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Gives himself a little suck before he zooms off the pipe. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave him in the bowl sometimes. Yeah. Just leave let, him get, let him get a dog. Come oh, back and he's there. He's just having a little cigarette. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Sega just sort of quietly announced during this that they're, uh, they've got new games in a bunch, like what, six different series well it says and more yeah this was weird when this when this played i was like oh they're like remastering some some, yeah. some old yeah. games but apparently they're making new like a new crazy taxi new streets of rage new jet set radio new shinobi new golden axe i don't know shinobi I, oh, no, maybe I do. every one of these games is was a highlight that wasn't sonic of a generation of consoles yeah you know like the crazy taxi and yeah. jet set was Big that of the Dreamcast, dream right? Yeah. Shinobi Gold, big like in the years prior to that, you mm. know, the Mega Drive and um, 
the Sega Master System. So it's like, it's Sega going like, here's our gauntlet of games. Yeah, very you know, true. Like, yeah. It's it's very vague. It's enough to get you hyped. Like, man, I'm a yeah. Sega fan. So yeah, yeah there's a few crossed. little like just yeah. grabs and stuff. You're like, that looks, it looks yeah. like it's going to be cool. Crazy Taxi. Um, That's the one I'm excited for. I love Crazy Taxi. I love Crazy. Those taxis are crazy. Well, they're so crazy. <laughs> and Jet Set Radio is so much fun too. Yeah. Any game Look that lets guy. you grind up a pole. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> There was a new game that came out not long ago called Bum Bomb Funk. Yeah, it's very that's cool. much. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of it 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 it, rem it it makes me feel like Sega. It's like why has this taken so long? Yeah, oh, they've absolutely. got all of these these great properties. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Patrick knows. Oh. Basically, the reason they can do this, they're more or less bank. You choose a asset and Sonic yeah. can keep them alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, I see. So, it's, yeah, all right. So, Yakuza and Sonic have been profitable enough that they're like, all right, now we can... We can make some, some of these. This is, it's, that's 23 years long game plan. Because yeah. Dreamcast was their last console. Yeah. yeah. And then they go, okay, well, we're just going to focus on games. And the game slowly, like you just said, whittled down to Yakuza and Sonic. So wow. Yeah, damn. Good on you, Sega. Make Dreamcast Yeah. Too. What, a, what a strategy, though, to be like yeah. coming out swinging with half a dozen Absolutely. New games, rather than just being like, hey, there's a new Crazy Taxi or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They're just coming out with, yeah, with a whole bunch. Anyway, it's all very vague. We yeah. have no idea when any of this is going to be coming out or... or what the end more means. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's exciting to see some of these older um, franchises coming back. Absolutely. Nice to know that they're Sonic's over there high five and Mario in the <laughs> Olympic <laughs> yeah, Games. Yeah, it's yeah. like, we don't want to see that, mate. Give I wonder, me if, I wonder if Sega notes. will start to become, you know, start to rival Nintendo. Well, I guess they won't, no one can rival Nintendo. Probably they're not. Just insane yeah. <laughs> big yeah. now. But, um, Do you know. Mario and Sonic will go to the next Olympic Games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I'll be there. I played through Probably. the Tokyo Olympic Games. Where's Sid and Ollie from the Sonic. 2000 Olympics? Yeah. <laughs> Horrible game. <laughs> they're, they're not good. They're so bad. <laughs> but I guess they're, they're so What I liked about the Tokyo one is it was the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Yeah. But that Olympic Games never happened. Because of COVID. Yeah, right. yeah. So Mario and Sonic are in like... They were the real Olympics. That, that yeah. Olympic Games never happened. Yeah. So. They saved the Olympics. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck. Um, hey, one of the biggest announcements mm -hmm. uh, was uh, a new game from uh, Hideo Kojima, who everybody just fucking goes yeah. nuts for. Can I say, this game will probably be great, but this was one of the worst trailers. <laughs> yeah. I saw what this. the hell so was this is, this is a game called OD. I assume this is Overdose, is it? Is yeah, it? I think in an interview they're like, <laughs> the concept of the game is, what if you overdosed on horror? <laughs> Which is stupid. This tra but the trailer to me looked like a, start a motion capture yeah. tech demo. Absolutely. She's saying... She's like list, like it's like a lazy fox jumped over the brown dog or whatever. She's just like saying a thing, and then she says it with a different emotion. Then an old man says it. Then she screams in fear. The old man's a big actor. Then it says, "Oh, that's, that's it." I mean, it, that's Justin B. Kojima, uh, brother. As a tech demo, though, it does look incredible. It, I mean, absolutely. Like we were looking at. Uh, um, we'll be used in the game. Mm. Yeah. We were looking at Senua before. Like, I mean, that look. Yeah, look what's at his that. name? That guy. Um, is this just a man? Yeah, it's just Udo? a guy. Udo Kier? Yeah. This is a CG man, though. This is it? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is done with computers. Yeah, it's computers. It's not computer. footage. No. no. I mean, it looks incredible. Yeah. But, like, what is it? This is getting to the point now where I don't know if I, if I can It tell. looks like an art house film. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's... I like Kojima. this game. This is the game I like. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of hype recently for, in a game that wasn't released, but the demo was PT. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One fucking second. Jordan Peele. Yeah. Yeah. He's part. I can't believe we didn't lead with Jordan Peele. Yeah, that was In a different cultural context. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Peele? Yeah. yeah. That was Game? The, that yeah. was the secret sort of reveal, because Hideo Kojima comes out, gaming god, you know, Metal Gear, mm. all these big games. Right. Uh, and then, then it's like, oh, there's one more guy, and then you hear the song from, um, what's the movie? Nope, that just oh, came yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, and then he walks through the door, and it's Very like, dramatic huge, entrance. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Cool. Both of those guys. Yeah. And Kojima's a total, like, schmoozer with Hollywood. Mm, yeah. He's always, like, you know, adjacent <gasps> to big celebrities and directors. He loves Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and he, he... You look at Death Strand, he, like, yeah. Conan O'Brien was in it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. absolutely. So is he just like a like a film guy? Yeah, he's a big fil game? film guy. But then you got people like Jordan Shit. Peele comes out and he's like, I, you know, like uh, Metal Gear Solid Two was like my peak yeah. for a game. Or you know, when he, when he mm, got, amazing, got a yeah. uh, first really interested in gaming and stuff. And so, yeah, they're just the two two giants of these two worlds coming together to do a 
a horror, a, a horror game, which I mean, I'm you sure know. it'll be. Well, yeah, if you want to do a horror, you call John Peel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd, wow. I really Amazing. enjoy his films. I think uh, they're very good. Yeah, he teamed um, up years pro- with Gilmo to make PT, and yeah, then it didn't yeah. come. That game didn't come out. It just didn't. But the demo, people like um, were saving it on their PS4s, mm. and it became a bit of a commodity to have it on your right. PS4 for a while there because they huh. you know, people yeah, it would just de- get deleted or something like yeah, that automatically yeah. or an update. Interesting. Mm. Um, but I have no idea what this game. Uh, do we even know anything no, about this game? We, I don't think like we have. It's just so mysterious. It. Yeah. Wow. Um, and it's probably quite a while off yet. Um, Hype, build high. Yeah. It's all about Way building build high. Um, cracking right along. Um, the I don't know if you guys played Life is Strange, but the oh, developers of Life is Strange um, have uh, a new game called Lost Records: Bloom and Rage. Okay. Which uh, it's set in 1995. Look at this. Whoa. Look at the 90s. Hell yeah. Love the 90s. I wasn't born then. I was so so young. You weren't born in 1995. Yeah, I was. I'm 32. <laughs> oh, great, great. I was, say. I was just trying to say four years. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Oh look, they had a calendar there just to, to just really to show you. Really just show you where, when this is supposed to be. People didn't hold hands back then. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Um, it's a new story-driven journey through time. And the creative ones behind Life is Strange. The magical summer of 1995 is one of self-discovery and forging unbreakable bonds for high school friends, Swan, uh, Nora, Autumn, and Kat. I love this. I wish I was a teenager in the 90s. Mm. Yeah. That would have been great. Like, just if I was just like, oh. just a little bit older and got to be a teenager. The craft? Yeah. Remember the craft? Oh, the craft. Yes. Yeah. I like, I was like watching the craft and stuff. It was like, my sister was a lot older than me. Yeah. So I got to like watch what it looked mm. like yeah. and be like, oh, I don't know, just to be like a little kid and looking up to like teenagers in the 90s and be like, whoa, this is so cool. And then we get the 2010s and yeah. they were just so different. Oh, yeah. We had, you know, who were, like they, back then they were like, yeah, we've got like Kurt Cobain, everyone to look up to. And we, yes. got, we got like, we got Rove. Yeah. We, got, we who I love. We got Rove. Rove That's is our true. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah. What the? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Remember when he did that? Uh-huh. Look, I'm very, very nostalgic. Life, life is strange. I do know one thing about this. My mate, yeah. um, who's a big gamer gamer guy, and yeah. like loves everything hardcore gamer and everything. He never really touches single player games yeah. that much. He had like a little bit of a break from playing Call of Duty, you know, swearing at 12 year olds and yeah. 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 PC and stuff. <laughs> and started playing Life is Strange and it changed him. Like it what? was a very profound game, I think. Yeah, it I think. Yeah. yeah, so it was a well done game. It was a nice branch across yeah. the different games. Yeah. I, I also have a friend that it had a very profound effect on too. Like I think the Life yeah. is Strange games are, yeah, very yeah. important to a lot of people. Mm. Great. I, um, I only played the sequel. I've never played um, any of them. And I really liked it. And it's one of the few games that me and Naomi both like. Because mm. we have very, t- very different tasting games. Mm. I normally, I'm a normally a Call of Duty guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. That's it's, good. it's so very chill, um, very just easy to play. Uh, and they release them in chapters, which is sort of just easy to consume. Yeah. Sort of just, you know, they're like maybe, what, two hours each, oh, roughly, yeah. each of the chapters. It's so it's just kind of... To play for yeah. so long to finish games. Mm. I've finished one game in my entire life. What game? Guess. Um, Can I get a hint? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like I it's know a this. broad range. <laughs> Can you finish The Sims? I reckon uh, maybe like... I've never played Spyro? The Sims. Spyro. Can no, I get an Can Spyro. I get an era like nineties, twenty tens, two thousand? I think it's twenty tens. I think. Okay. I actually don't know when it came out. I, I I'll just t- it's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, sick! Assassin's I did know Creed that. Two. Why yeah. did this happen? I I actually don't know, and That's I do, I don't know how this happened. Was this on computer? No, I don't have. I've never had a PC in my life. But was it, okay. I'm a I'm a Mac a girl. PlayStation. Well, what did you it play? It was, on? I suppose, a PlayStation. Whatever was in my house at the time. Yeah. Whichever man I was living with at the time, uh-huh. and whichever machine he had, and I liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see you know. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought about like doing another Assassin's Creed? No, I have such a full life. Have, yeah, you, thought about, have you thought about being an assassin? That's fair. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. With, with the assassin, Creed? That's why I can't play the games <laughs> yeah. anymore. Have you thought about being in the band <laughs> Creed? <Too real. laughs> yeah. Very busy. That's, yeah. That's um, we've we've got, got the new Spider Man at home, it's real fun. Oh, yeah. I'm playing okay. Spider Man. I love to swing. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, I that was love that is they, wonderful. It was a really important thing for them to nail in that game, and they yeah. did it. So good. Feels nice. Yeah, it feels um, really nice. Sometimes I see Tim playing, and I say, can I have a go of swinging? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You just want to swing. You don't nest. 
I've I've never done any of the activities. Yeah, yeah. Just swingings. That's that's the good bit. It's a good bit. Um, There's a couple others that caught my eye. So there's a new game from um, the people that did uh, No Man's Sky. Oh, yeah. Called Light No Fire. Don't know what Light No Fire means. Three more, three words. They like light, three words. No, in three words. words. No man's sky. Light, light no, no fire. fire. Come um, round soon. <laughs> but this is um, this. This feels like I get. I don't know if this is a sequel to No Man's Sky. It's got it's big it's, No Man's it's, Sky, but it's sort of yeah, fantasy thing. Because it is. It's right? like a procedurally generated. Because that's what that's it's, what No Man's yeah. Sky was. It's one right? planet. Yes. That's, yeah. I I did not play No Man's Sky. Mm. It looks kind of interesting, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. Um, What's wrong, Michelle? I hate underwater games. Oh, okay. I hate them. Oh, they make underwater. me feel sick. Yeah, that's fair. No, <laughs> that I, makes I, me I, feel I, sick. I this is that. lovely, but but I just looked. As soon up as you the get wet, yeah, it's yeah. Bad. When you're underwater, it's bad. Yeah, yeah really I get it, dude. What if you got under milk? Worry. Under. Oh, look at this big bird. If I, I was like under milk. milk. <laughs> yeah. I like under milk. Yeah. Milk's not water. Milk's not underwater. Get me in there. Yeah. You're under milk. That's, fair. That's yeah. Fair. Get me in that milk. Wow, dragon. Yeah, this game looks. Wait, did I just refer to a bird as a dragon? No, it's a uh, dragon. There's a hummingbird you can fly on. There's a, there was a hummingbird. It was also a bird, but. This is stunning. Yeah, it's this very pretty. It's like Jumanji. Uh, it's a game about adventure, building, <laughs> survival, and exploration together. Set on a fantasy planet the size of Earth, it brings the depth of a role playing game to the freedom of a survival sandbox. Okay. That sounds cool. But I mean, it's so funny for the uh, No Man's Sky guys to oh, overpromise, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, hey, they, they've very clearly proven that they can make a great game now. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah. But also procedurally generated games. It's but, it's a bit like... It's one uh, of those rare stories over that game company that, they, yeah, they, the game failed initially in some ways because it overpromised, but then they slowly rebuilt it and made it great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's so funny because I know No Man's Sky now, everyone's like, it's awesome. And then I jump in for a bit and I'm like, meh. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm sure it's nice, but. Uh, yeah. Inside this it's a, it's a game that I feel like you can dedicate inside, a fair yeah. bit of time to. Very for sure. Um, to really it's hard to get find the time it. to do that these days. Um, yeah. But anyway, hopefully that's good. Um, bought one of those from a crystal shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. The, uh, the last big announcement was uh, a new Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter Wilds. And I was like, Wah. I didn't play any Monster Hunter. Did Me you neither. play Monster nah. Hunter? I was like, oh, well, what do you do? You hunt monsters? This. I don't know what this is. You go, there's... there's you, you, what, what are you doing? Some dra- oh, dinosaur looking freaking guys. I think, I some, I think they got some new so kind much. of milk technology yeah. in this game. <laughs> okay. You can milk all the animals. Milk the- <laughs> well, I don't know. Lots of... My friends who look love the him. Monster Hunter games are very excited for this, and I don't know what quite the Whoa, difference is. Oh, look at those big guys! It's interesting, Monster Hunter is, it's, it seems to be huge, yeah. but it's a game that I don't, I, for some what are reason, they called? I Pada, have not Pada, what's mm, yeah. passed over with. Fully it doesn't stuff. look like mm. um, it's fun to play. Like, it looks yes. kind of difficult to maneuver. I completely agree. Yeah. And it looks, like, yeah. The animation I don't, I don't love. No, it's, it's got like a clunkiness or something. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. I'm not into it. And then I see the gameplay, and they're like fighting one of the big monsters, and the, it takes like ten billion hits. And yeah, the way that they're moving makes me feel like I feel when I'm doing my tax and I'm trying to hold too many things in my head. Mm. If that makes sense. <laughs> no, yeah, big it's that time. kind of vibe. Or trying to use a PC when I've grown up with a Mac, like mm, that kind of like, just too like, much going. Oh, on. <laughs> but then I the Monster like... Hunter heads are like, whoa! Yeah. But yeah. I've seen other really Monster Hunter games. Really they look the same. Yeah. What's different? What's new? Polygon said, uh, Wilds appears to be a fully open world evolution of the Monster Hunter franchise. Okay, maybe it's the open world. I didn't realize it wasn't open world before. Yeah, me neither. All uh, games need to be open world from now on. Allegedly. No, yeah, well, that's yeah I, uh, I don't like open world. I mean, I, I don't know. There are some of A little bit of control is good. Like yeah. a little bit of, yeah. I just I find it a bit intimidating. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. You, you get into the so world, lost. you're like, uh, It's like life. Yeah. Yes. The whole reason I'm doing something else is so I have a clear instruction <laughs> yes. and I can just try can and practice yes. and get better and then I can solve it and then I can go out into the real world exactly. and feel like, okay, I can solve my problems. I agree 100%. Yeah. Um, it's so hard. Yeah. It's, I mean, I, I like the idea of being able, it's why it's at, like cyberpunk. I should, I, I, love mm. the, I look at it and I'm like, that looks cool, like yeah. a cool world to get immersed in. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know, it just seems like I would need to just set aside a lot of time and... And I don't like, like, I played Alan Wake 2 recently. And that's like, it's not like a big open world, it's like individual, like, open areas. Did you say Alan Wick 2? Uh, Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, I thought it was like Alan Wick 2, like John Wick 2's oh. brother Alan. <laughs> Alan. And I was like, 
Okay. All right, Jackson. It looks sure. a bit like Keanu Reeves. But that, that what's annoyed His me about that? Awake, awake. <laughs> yeah, it's very clever. Uh, but was that like every environment was so detailed and full of stuff, but the story was like go here. Yeah. So anytime I went off to explore, I in my brain I'm like, but I gotta go to the next place. Yeah. And so I didn't explore the open world. Mm. And I don't know, it's like either give me the stuff to do or don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> give me the stuff to do or don't give We're me the We're here stuff. with the profound stuff. <laughs> I think it's kind of like... We're it, not playing, so tired. And Last no. of Us 2 was kind of interesting in that that is very on rails, mm. but, but then they had like a whole section of the game that was a bit more open. I, like, oh, yeah. I, I kind of like that. I think the later Uncharted games did that too, which I liked. Yeah, it's right. like, hey, it's on the rails. But this area, it's still on the rails, but it feels big. And you're like, oh, great. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, you know what there wasn't much of this year? What? Racing games. I love a racing game. <laughs> <laughs> to just drive cars yeah. around. I mean, There's the new Disney racing game. Play as Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Well, I think so. <laughs> there, was, there, was a, there was a racing game. Uh, I didn't put it on the list, but there was one. What was it called? Rocket Racer or something. It was like know. a game inside Fortnite, which That's I still right. haven't quite got my head around yet. There's a lot of games that are somehow in Fortnite. Fortnite yeah. still. I don't understand how you can make it's games in Fortnite, yeah. but that's... Uh, so Peter Fort Griffin's in Fortnite. They've made a Lego game. Yeah. Uh, game right. Lego building game in the Fortnite. Yeah, yeah right. So yeah, I, I played a Fortnite t tournament. Yeah. It was like a celebrity... It was at the Australian Open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was at Rod Lever do. Arena. Yeah. Okay. And I had to go and play Fortnite. Mm. It was me and Mark Bonanno. Yeah. And <laughs> we were paired with real gamers. Mm. <laughs> and I felt so bad for the person who was paired with me because I was like, I you have to know that I, I don't know what this game is. And they're like, what's your like, what do you, do you want computer? Do you want which controller or whatever? Oh, and yeah. I was like, just whatever's going, <laughs> yeah. like whatever you reckon is good, yeah. is, is gonna be good. It's gonna be good for me. Chef's choice, absolutely. Just the tasting menu. Yeah. Get them all out. <laughs> what is it, 60 bucks a head? Let's get it out. Yeah. Let's, let's it. Pair it with some wine. Um, yeah, anyway, I was disappointed there wasn't more Brum Brum car. Fortnite Rocket Race. Ah, Fortnite, Fortnite Rocket, Rocket Race. Race. Yeah, it so. sounds like they've just basically built Fortnite as a hub for other innovation in games to yeah, get to right. once you're there. So was it like it's just using the same engine? Well, isn't the, yeah. isn't the trick with Fortnite, maybe this is a lie I'm telling right now, Yes. but isn't the trick with Fortnite that originally it was like a zombie survival game, Yeah. but they were like, we can't get out the game in time. So, hey, dirt bags, here's dirt a battle bags. royale while you wait. Mm. And then everyone oh. was like, we love this battle yeah. royale. And they were like, well, I guess that's the game now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I think oh. it's, it's never exactly been designed for what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the game system, they're like, we can make fucking anything. Yeah. In the building aspect, obviously, in the battle royale. Yeah. It's like they've got rid of that now in the battle royale. Wait, you yeah. can't build the big, because you just were like. There's, so there's zero two build. different versions. There's zero build, and then yeah. there's you can build and do the original build thing. But yeah, that build function was just to survive zombies. Yeah. Apparently. When that was the original there, plan for the game. There was a, that time when Fortnite came out, there were so many battle royale games, mm. but that was the, the cream of the crop. That yeah. was the best. Yeah. Well, PUBG free? was huge. Right? Yeah. That was yeah, the whole yeah. point, yeah. that it was free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, exactly. they've got, now they've got to tie in with Lego as well, so you can run Gosh. around and build Lego things and... Be a little Lego man. But it generates so much money. It's amazing how it free games can oh, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because people just well, want to... you want to buy that Peter so Griffin There's microtransactions. Skin, you need the Peter Griffin You want to be Peter Griffin in Fortnite. They're just constantly rolling out content. I'm going to start doing free shows with microtransactions. Yes, you should do that. You want to know what happens next? Yeah. Most of a joke and then just stop. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's got like earphones in individual and then you're like, you want to the net punchline for this joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, free show. It's a free show. It's free. <laughs> well, I mean, that's 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 the, that's the game. That's well, games. Pretty much it. That's games. And that's all games. That's, that's games. Pretty much. That's, that's out on said. games and milk. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Milky Milky milk, Game. Milk. Play Assassin's Creed 2. Milky Milky. I have a milky, milky color. I love. Now that's a show. Milky, milky Milky Milk. <laughs> Milky, milky, milky. Review the milks. I mean, there's a lot of milks to review. Putting That's different true. stuff with milk. All the flavoured milks that come out. Oak. Oak does good. Some good flavoured milks. Tell I reckon you'd be taken off the air pretty quick. <laughs> For sure. I just reckon it would get me. a bit... Get a bit grubby. Get a bit raunchy? Get a bit grubby. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. Milk's a horny drink. It is a horny drink. Like, Got if milk. I think about milk too much, I'm like... Oh, I gotta go. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like it's it, a bit horny. It, yeah, for sure. It's good. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure I understand. Well, think about 
Well, you know, milk I'm not for a yucking your yum, Evan. You've said that you play the Call of Duties. Yes. Okay? I'm just saying milk's a horny drink. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have you seen that Fergie-licious? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that Fergie-licious around? I Tell her I said it. hi. I got it so early, and I, I've overstayed my... Um, no, that's okay. My dog's asleep. You pooped. It's she's been a long show. We've had a lot of games. Is yeah. there a way to milk, get a camera on Eva right now? Milk's horny, but you wouldn't find is. milk food. Like, that's true, actually. That's very accurate. Gonzo's bed, which is too small, mm. and she's just her head's just out on the ground. Oh, there's another that's camera cute. in the way. Oh. Too bad. It's good. Glad to you're be You're missing here. out. All right. Yeah, you got to miss out on that. Um, Eggnog opinions. Eggnog's awesome. Delicious. Hey, before I know it is. <laughs> I don't know what eggnog is. We all need is. to go to bed. Let's, let's um, yeah. Let's, but let's before we wrap up the show, we have to thank our top patrons. Okay, let's oh, do yeah. it every every week, every Please. episode. Um, the uh, our top patrons this week are Amy G, Blake Hannigan, Brandon Wozni, Braden Rantel, Cameron, Cameron Fullwood, Fullwood, Chris Potts, Potts Christian, Christian Sanchez, Sanchez, David Byrne, Born, Born, David Holland. Holland. We don't all have to okay. thank. Them. We can though. Dummy, uh, for dummy Dave. Dave. Dave for hard on time. Gears, Hannah Green, Green, Jack, Jack Sanguinetti, Sanguinetti, Jimmy Jojo Jr. Shabadoo, Luke, Luke Likes, Likes Games, MJ, Namphy, Nathan, Nathan 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 Oscar Eight, Recon 744, Sentinel Rickonen, Scott did you bite the waffle, so us he wrote Scott did you bite the waffle McKeechen, wait, Santeri Rickonen, wait, Sean Pag, Praggett, Prague, no, Prague, Prague, Siraj and Axine. Siraj forever. Neil. Siraj, every show I've ever done in any city in the entire world, Siraj is there. That's amazing. He's, he's incredible. He he's an there. incredible supporter of, I mean, I don't know if he supports more broadly than this, but he's very much a supporter of the, the Melbourne um, comedy scene. That's lovely. Um, yeah. every, every time we do like a fundraiser thing, every time we put on shows or whatever, he's always, always chipping he's in there. and buying yeah. tickets and coming along. Absolutely. And stuff. Champ. Bloody legend. Very comforting. Um, hey, if you want to hear your name read on the show, uh, you can sign up to the Close Personal Friend Patreon on Tier. It's a great benefit for signing up. You get episodes a little bit early before they come out uh, on, on, the, on the YouTubes. Uh, you can join us in a little Discord. We can try to chat, chat about things. We've been a bit of a convo about whether we should have the chat on the screen or if that's distracting or weird. I don't know. Um, you guys let us know if that's a weird thing that we're doing. Um, we out of Evan's shot. <laughs> what? It, I don't know. Just says, uh, maybe Ava's shot? Get out of get out of Evan's shot. I don't know. We don't mind Evan's shot. Um, Sorry. You also get uh, the 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 cheat sheets, which means you have to do that. Um, and you can send in questions for the Patreon question, which we uh, record when we post on the Patreon. A bit of extra content there. Yeah. And you get a mug for five dollars more. So, uh, so you get you get a mug on the, the highest tier, which is uh, Six great. Bucks. We'll send you a mug. Six bucks, you get a mug for the milk. You can yeah, get that's mug. a good milk, milk mug. mug. That's a lovely. You can that's put milk real, in this. That's a really nice milk mug. You can put your milk in here. I have you can put, put your milk, milk in there. That's a that's good milk mug. Um, sign up at patreoncom slash game Um Michelle, what do you got on? What do you got? You got anything to plug? Where can people find you? I have got a. You, you can find me at uh, at Michelle Brazier on every platform: TikTok, Instagram, That's great that you got that. Yep, it's a rare name. <laughs> um, you can see me in the United Kingdom in April, May. Tickets are on sale now. I'm only doing one show in each city and I don't have time to add new shows. So if you do want to come, please do book book tickets for Christmas, book Which tickets for it? everyone you've met. Reform, 10th uh -huh. best reviewed show at the Edinburgh Fringe. Wow. Which I didn't is, know they ranked them like that. Yeah. They do every single year. British Comedy Guide does gets the, <laughs> gets the statistics and like they always wow. release the top 50 because it's 4,000 oh, shows. Yeah, fair enough. Amazing. So they top release the top 50. Pretty big, yeah. And every year and every year I see it come out and I go, oh, I can't even. <laughs> the idea of looking at that and being like, oh, I'm not even in the 50. Mm. And like, of course, oh. like the, who cares? Like it, it's just reviewed. Yeah. But until when you when someone calls you and says, "Baby girl, you, you're in the top <laughs> yeah. ten," yeah. say, "Wow, well. we really did it." And reviewers are right. <laughs> yes, and they have value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They know what I see their value. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're all right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. So everyone should go see that show if you haven't yeah. already. And yeah. if you're American, keep your ears to the ground. <gasps> Whoa. You might um, hear the, the a whisper. Footsteps. You like might that. hear the ocean. Mm. Oh. You'll hear the ground. Yeah. Uh, Jackson, what, what are you, your podcast? Uh, I do streaming. a bunch of podcasts. Uh, I do a video game review podcast called Thumb Cramps. If you want a less coherent version of this somehow. Oh, my, sorry, That's Tim's okay. here in the chat and he just said May and June, not April, May. Sorry for being, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hi, babe. I'll be home soon. I'm so tired. <laughs> you go. Um, 
as well as a bunch of other podcasts, Plumbing the Death Star, Baseless Speculation. Yeah, look for Sandspans Radio. I'm on a bunch of them. And you can find me on Twitter at All Dogs Are Dead if you want to. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very good. Um, was there a story behind that? Thing to claim, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty obviously not true. Yeah, a lot of people going after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Rob, how about you? Just uh, at, un- at Rob underscore Braslin. A lot of people don't like the underscore. The underscore's people, good. A lot of people saying underscores aren't good, but I'm leaving yeah, the underscore. I'm sticking right. with it. I think They're as long good. as you're consistent, uh, it's the good. underscore yeah. Right. fine. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's all I got going on. I got a pool at my place if you want to come around. Yeah. That's sick. Whoa! You're, you're, you're I'm gonna be a place. In, you're normally based in Hobart. That's right. Yeah, I'm up here for a couple of weeks. You're in Melbourne be, for a bit. Yeah, doing some yeah. gigs when they pop up and whatever else. But yeah, I'll be just bragging about them on Instagram. So. Yeah, nice. sounds all good. right, we'll go check out uh, socials for what people are up to. Oh, come look at the pool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love these pools. We can fill <clears> it full of milk. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy the show, you can subscribe to the channel uh, on YouTube. Tell your friends about the show, all that sort of thing. Um, and you can podcast this show as well. You can search for us on whatever app you use. Uh, and we have a... So I don't know why I keep plugging the subreddit. There's not much action on the subreddit. Uh, maybe I'm just, just trying to make it a thing. Wait, that one's post in the subreddit right now. Yeah. It used to be... Post I don't in the know. subreddit. Post in the subreddit. Make a meme about milk. Subreddit. Do a tier don't list of guests. Yeah. Let us know what do you think about do milk. Do you know how to be very Fergalicious of everyone right now? <laughs> <laughs> make a milk meme. <laughs> In the subreddit. That would be yeah, extremely fergalicious, yeah. Can we milk up that sub? Let's milk, milk that sub! sub. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not Australia. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll uh, we'll catch you next week for a big Christmas episode. Whoa! Uh, yes! Christmas. It's uh, that time of year already. It is that I also, time. I also have shows in Melbourne and Sydney. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> when? Melbourne yes. is in February. Tim probably will say. It's in February and it's at the Malthouse Theatre one night only. It's called Songs With My Friends. I'll be doing songs. I'll be reading. Uh, well, I'll be sa- I'll be saying some um, stories about uh, friendship and relationships that I have written for a secret project I haven't announced yet. And then I'll do songs with some of my famous friends. Um, Jilly Cosgriff is working on something that is like four part sick harmony for us. Um, nope. Not just the two of us. That would be throat singing and we can't do that. And then the <laughs> Sydney show is um, Average Bear, but a revamped version and it's got a string section Whoa. at Sydney Festival in um, January 25th and 26th. That I rocks. I believe they've given me yeah. the big strings. <laughs> so mm. That's, That's so incredible. good. Incredible. Yeah. Um, I also should point out because someone mentioned it, Orange Scissors mentioned it. We're, we're doing a, a live stream on our stupid old channel, YouTube channel. On um, Tuesday the 12th of December, which is t- t- the next Tuesday that's going to happen um, on the calendar. Is, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, if, unless you're watching it as after, obviously. Um, but we're, uh, we're doing a, a live stream, like a talent show, um, to promote a new thing that we're doing at Superdoll Studios called Comedy Lab, which is where we're doing a bit of crowdfunding to uh, help make our, uh, all our amazing facilities, uh, crew and space and equipment and stuff that we have here, make those available for comedians uh, to use for free to just make comedy stuff. Um, so uh, you can uh, tune into that show. It'll be a lot of fun in its own right, but also we're trying to build up a new program thing. Hell yeah. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Check out our socials. If you want to hear more about that, go to comedylab.com.au. All right, that's enough plug and stuff. Wait, 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 Christmas. Next week is Christmas. Christmas! Christmas, Christmas baby! Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next week. Bye! Love Bye. you. Bye! Believe in your, uh, yourself and your dreams. Hello. Everyone got too tired. <laughs> uh, we were the crew on this episode, and I just went, oh, we'll just do it. We'll just do the Patreon question. <laughs>